I recently attended the Technology and Maintenance Council's annual meeting in Orlando, Florida. One of the things I love about attending these shows is the opportunity to talk to suppliers who are making innovative and new products. I had the chance to stop by the Stemco booth where I got to see a new product that they've developed that is focused on preventing wheel offs, lowering total cost of operation, and saving lives on our public roads. Listen into my conversation and my time visiting the Stemco booth where I got to learn about this great new product. Hey, I'm Josh Cusera. I'm a senior engineer and project manager of AutoTorque here at Stemco. We're here at TMC at the annual meeting in Orlando, Florida, and I have the opportunity to visit the Stemco booth where we're going to talk about wheel end. Uh, quick story, one of uh, uh, my my colleagues is a fleet owner. His name is James Rogers, and uh, he runs a, a small fleet, eight units. Uh, he pulled in for some wheel end service, and uh, there was technician error. And uh, as he's driving down the highway afterwards, people are flashing their lights. Uh, one of the rear wheels on the trailer was literally on fire, and it was almost a wheel-off situation. So let's talk about that problem. You know, that's just one example. I'm sure in your role, you've seen this many times. Oh, yeah. So I've actually been in the room for some of those failure investigations that involve wheel-offs. It's not fun for anybody in the room. There's, there's not a single person there that wants that to happen. So anything we can do to prevent it, we're going to do it. Right. And, you know, when you look at wheel end maintenance and repair, there's a lot of complexity there. there there's a lot of parts and, and there's a lot to it. And it's very easy for a technician to to make a mistake. So what what is Stemco doing to try to address that issue with the products that you're manufacturing? So a lot of that comes from the issues we see in the market, right? And one of the main ways that somebody can install a wheel end improperly is by improperly adjusting your bearings. So today, the bearing adjustment procedure involves a calibrated torque wrench, a few hours of training for the operators. Seems simple enough until you actually do it day after day after day. You get in a rhythm, you get comfortable, things start to slip. So Right, and, and complacency is really uh, something that we're fighting here. Um, and with that many different steps, it's so easy to make a mistake, right? And if you are getting into that rhythm, you're not really thinking about it, you could miss a step, and then all of a sudden we got a major problem. Right, right, so that's why we developed the auto torque here, because it takes that complexity away. It takes your reliance on calibrated tools out of the picture, you don't have as much operator training involved, it makes it as idiot-proof as it can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and you know, back in the day, uh, perhaps people, felt that uh, if you were working on heavy equipment, you were of a certain caliber of person, right? I know there was very few uh, uh, people sitting around the, the family table saying, oh, I'm so happy that my kids are going into the trucking industry. Right. But this industry has evolved so much from those early days. And in order to be a technician in the industry, you have to be very, very uh, well-trained. You, you need a lot of knowledge. And this is not something that is easy to, to be in. Uh, it certainly is complicated. Complex. Right, it absolutely is. And to that point, I think there's a lot of complexity in the wheel end that people kind of take for granted because they assume, because it's been done for so many years, that this is just the way that it's done. And we kind of absorbed that complexity into our training protocols. And this being able to take that complexity back out of the wheel end is a huge bonus for our customers. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how when they implement this system, into the, the wheel end maintenance and repair. How is it going to impact the total cost of operation for the fleet itself? So one of the side benefits of being able to do the, uh, the installation the way that AutoTorque does it is it sets the wheel end into preload, which optimizes your bearing life there. So the upfront cost of the product might come at a little more of a premium, but you're gonna see that payback extend years past that initial installation as your bearings last 10 to 15% longer and you have less problems in that wheel and not to mention the risk avoidance, right? That comes with knowing you've done it properly. Okay, so 10 to 15% reduction in uh, total cost. When I look at that 10 to 15%, that, that can't just be the parts cost, right? Like you said, a little bit more f uh, money upfront on the parts, but if you think about the labor, you think about the downtime where the equipment is in the shop and not making money, that number starts to spool up pretty high, doesn't it? Right, and then you also factor in the time spent training your technicians here, especially if you're in a shop that has a high turnover rate, you can bring these people in and get them going and have confidence in their abilities much faster. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for taking yeah. some time. I know you're busy. You've got people in the booth right now. Uh, it was great talking to you about this. And if people want to learn more about the product, where specifically could they go? 
anywhere at stemco.com we'll have a we don't have it up yet probably but we'll have because this is our initial release here okay. we'll have a uh, very colorful splash about just some of the high level topics here and if they they want more they can reach out we'll all right perfect so we're going to make sure that those links are in the show notes josh thank you so much for thank taking you. some time appreciate it we're going to take a quick break to hear from our sponsors we'll be right back don't have a heavy duty part number and need to look up a part Go to parts.diesellaptops.com or download the app on Apple or Android to create your free account. Looking for high quality fuel injection for heavy duty applications? Having one supplier for fuel injection allows you to better serve customers by providing them with a complete line which increases your sales and profitability. Learn more at ambacinternational.com slash aftermarket. Parts availability and quality have a big influence on fleets and owner operators total cost of operation. If they can't find a part, it means more downtime. If they install a low quality part and it fails, it means even more costs like tow bills, hotels, meals for the driver, and lost revenue. That's why we recommend Sampa. They manufacture a wide range of advanced parts for commercial vehicles. Their website has an intelligent product search engine and broad coverage of suspension, steering, and fifth wheel components. Expect more. Expect Sampa. Visit sampa.com today. Hi, good morning. My name is Todd Damasio with Stemco. I'm the director of our OEM and National Fleet Team. Uh, thanks for taking some time to speak with me. It's great. We're here at TMC. Uh, we're at the annual meeting. We're at the Stemco booth. We were just talking about this new product that you've developed, um, and it's called AutoTor, correct? That's correct. Right. And one of the things that I know from the years that I spent selling parts is when you're in the repair shop, there is a lot of investment in the actual technician's training and getting people up to a standard where they can work on commercial vehicles and those vehicles can go out into the world and, you know, they're safe on public roads. From your perspective, as, the, as you develop this product and you're rolling it out uh, to fleets and you're rolling it out to repair shops, what impact are you anticipating it going to have on the actual training process with technicians? Yes, yeah, so that's a great question. When we develop this product and, and all the products that we develop, our mission is to make the roadways safer. And part of the way that we're doing this with the auto torque is we, we tried to design a product that would take a lot of the human error element out of the equation. There's been a large influx of new technicians into the market of various skill levels. And the beauty of this product is there's no specific sequence or complex sequence that is required to, to achieve a reliable, uh, easy installation every time. So in terms of, of how it helps uh, a fleet or a, a shop, as long as you're your technician has a, a torque, or excuse me, a breaker bar and a socket. They can listen for an audible click, and the, the sequence is done. So, you you bring up a good point about the the almost changing of the guard that's happening at the technician level. Like we know there's a technician shortage. Uh, I think back on all of the great people I knew in the industry that have retired recently, and that seems to be accelerating. So it seems to me that there's going to be increased pressure at the shop level because you're going to have to replace these people with 30, 40 years experience, and you're going to have to bring in technicians, and maybe you even have to recruit from outside of the industry just to fill these open positions. So I see this as a huge advantage to be able to put a system in place that takes something that's really complex, to your point, with a lot of different steps, and now make it so it can be more systematic and, and repeatable. When it comes to the anticipated impact on the, the shop, you know, there's one thing where we want to get equipment's total cost of operation down, but we also want to bring the, the cost of the repair shop itself down. How do you see this impacting that? Yeah, so the installation of this product takes 30 seconds. So, you know, when you're doing your, your repair on the road or in a shop, traditional wheel-ins take several minutes, 15, 20 minutes to install, install properly. This, this auto torque product reliably installs in 30 seconds every time. And it, it just really eliminates a, a lot of the, uh, the, the, the complex sequences and, uh, you know, allows you to, to know that you're doing it proper the, the first time every time. Well, and I'm thinking about the time component. You start adding up the wheels. <laughs> it's right. It's not just the units. Yeah, labor rate is incredible these days. And if you can eliminate, you know, half the time that you're you're typically doing it, the traditional fleet or repair shop, their labor rates, you know, seventy, eighty dollars or more, or more. Yeah. And you, you eliminate the majority of that time. There's your there's your savings. Uh, 
you know, right off the top. I'm always interested where the uh, concepts for these kinds of products come from. Was this a, a demand from from the fleet uh, and they want it at an OEM level? Is this only going to be available in the aftermarket? How is this product going to roll out? So we're going to have a two, two-pronged approach. We're, we're working actively with our OEM partners to get OEM uh, position and we're taking it directly to the fleet level, the end users where we feel the most value is and getting their buy-in. We're going to have it available to them for fleet spec on the OEM and aftermarket repairs, um, just, just driving it through the market that way. This week has been phenomenal for us so far. We've seen a lot of interest already uh, from repair facilities like you mentioned, end user fleets, over the road fleets. Uh, it, it's just generated a lot of buzz here and we're really excited about it. Well, that is exciting. I can even think of another uh, sector like the mobile repair. They're, they're gonna love this product, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> you can have one or two parts on, on a mobile truck and um, you know the confidence going out there that no matter what vehicle you see, you can install this extremely quickly and extremely easy. Yeah. Well, this is a, sounds like it's going to be a fantastically uh, successful product for Stemco. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. I really yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. If you'd like to buy Auto Torque from Stemco, head over to stemco.com slash auto dash torque dash registration. Links are in the show notes and you'll be notified when Auto Torque is available. We've also included a link to the updated product page to learn more about Auto Torque. Head to heavydutypartsreport.com slash autotorque today. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I hope you're enjoying these interviews from TMC. We've got a few more coming for you. If you haven't already, head over to heavydutypartsreport.com and follow the show. That'll sign you up to our weekly email where you will never miss out on any of our content. If you like watching the videos, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us for free wherever you get your podcasts. If you haven't already, Head over to the show notes and check out our sponsors. Without their support, the show would not be possible. Thank you for listening to the Heavy Duty Parts Report. And as always, be heavy duty. Thank you for watching this video. Click here to subscribe to the Heavy Duty Parts Report YouTube channel and click here to watch another great episode.